everyone, this is Malutin Reviewing Tips. And if you've been following my previous videos, you are familiar with this baby. This is my $400 computer, which has Intel i5 24.0, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, Gigabyte IRUS 1060 GPU with 6 gigabytes, and an Enjoy Power Supply. So guys, since I'm in crypto mining and I've been doing this from 2015 successfully, I would like to share some of my personal experience, the software I'm using, the techniques I'm using with you and to show you how I'm building my mining ring from the moment we assemble the PC to the moment we run the miner. So stay tuned. Uh, we are going to install a fresh copy of Windows 10 here and I will show you how can you set up your Windows so that you will have no problems with your machine at all. Stay tuned! So, the first step to build our rig is to install our Windows or Linux, whatever you prefer. I try to work with Linux, it's fine, but there is not enough driver and feature support for Linux at the moment, so I've kind of abandoned the Linux platform in favor of Windows 10, which I honestly don't like too much, but that was the only option at the time. So, here I have a fun drive with my Windows 10 on it, and let's install it on this baby and see what we can do further. Okay. I hope you're able to see everything on the display since there's no way to record it. Otherwise, uh, basically the Windows installation is pretty straightforward, but we will do the first option. Okay, let's go. And RPC is starting. Okay, let's go to bias. Let's select our boot drive from boot menu. In my case, it's this one. And our Windows 10 installation should start any moment. Or, or it will just think, think, think like Windows usually do. Okay, so there is obviously. Oh! Okay, so we have our blue screen of Windows. Okay, so the setup is starting, as you can see. Okay, now you will need to select your language, your region. In my case, it's English, US. Keyboard input, US. Okay. Let's continue to... Okay, so this is Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit. I recommend you to use only 64-bit operation system since you can uh, use more RAM than 32. For crypto mining, it's really important to have it. Okay, hit next, accept, next. Okay, now we need to select our drive. So in my case, it's, it's 55 gigabyte drive, so, which is fine. Okay, but on the drive because it's not formatted. Okay, let's format it. Okay, now it's possible. Okay, Windows is installing. After it will installs, we'll come back and continue our system setup. So our installation is finishing up and soon we'll be able to get inside of Windows. I've zoomed a little bit so that you can see all the setups. I'm doing for my machine. So. Okay, so this is our Windows setup menu. We'll go to use Express Settings. Basically, it's all straightforward, but just for the purpose of this video, I will walk you through this. Okay, so here, when you're stepping for your mining, you would like to select I own this machine next. Uh, you can use your account or skip this step, which I usually prefer. Uh, you can select name. This will be NV008, 
which stands for NVIDIA machine number 8. Uh, skip the password, you don't need it for this time. Computer. And just wait till your desktop will appear. Okay. Okay, so you can see that uh, we have our desktop top available right now. Now we are going to all settings and installing the needed drivers and applications. Okay, so we have installed our Windows 10. Uh, now there is three main things we we'll need to do. First, stop our system updates so that your computer will not turn off. Second thing update our graphics driver and get our MCI afterburner so let's start step by step okay so we have installed our windows and now we need to make all the settings so that we can run our ring the first and basic one is pretty simple you need to go to personalize and go to power management it's under power and sleep okay and you put it never and never which means your screen doesn't go out and your computer doesn't go out otherwise your machine will mine for for example let's see uh, an hour and turns on that's it okay so we've done this this is pretty straightforward second task we need to do is to go to run you will need to type this command it's services.mcs uh, this step is to stop our windows updates you don't want your mining ring interrupted by windows updates so we're going to go and disable them ok you can see here there's a windows update oops ok it's manually enabled to put them in disable mode apply okay okay so now it's disabled perfect and we can go and get our software uh, one of the things you would like to get is updated drivers for your GPU so I'm going to go to NVIDIA dot no uh, drivers this is the easiest way to do so ok and we should be yes we can see this ok so it recognized my system automatically I have a GeForce GTX 1016 from Gigabyte I will hit search and hit download ok you can see that my download has started we will wait till this, is, this will finish and run our drivers until uh, we are waiting for the drivers we will go to I prefer to go to Google because it's more accurate than Bing google.com and we are going to search for MCI Afterburner uh, I will put all the links down below in the description so you don't have to search uh, all around the web for the software uh, okay, so we'll go for MCI. Uh, basically, this is a heavy website. You need to wait till website is fully downloaded so that you can see the download button at the bottom. Okay, in my case, I can't see it yet, but I can run my driver. So let's run the driver. Yes. Yes, of course. Okay, so NVIDIA at the moment is unpacking the drivers and we are waiting for the MCI website to load. Oops. Okay, close the NVIDIA website, we don't need it anyway. And we should see, yes, we can see the options for download. Uh, if you are making a system for mining, don't go for beta, go for a stable version. 
because if something happens to the GPU and the process of mining due to the uh, overclocking software, that basically it could stop all your operation for a few hours or a few days, depends on the problem. I had a problem with my GPU to pick beta and I wasn't, I, oh, I had a problem for like day, day or something, till I was able to fix it. Okay, so NVIDIA is preparing the installation and our afterburner is ready. Okay, let's go set up, run. You can go for extractor, but you can just go run it. Finish. Okay, next I accept the light. Let me close the windows with them. Okay, next, next. Yes, okay, make a shortcut. Okay, so you can see that our afterburner is installing right now. And we are still waiting for the NVIDIA driver to install. And basically, when you install this software, that's it. Okay, so you can see the NVIDIA is ready. We have two options, uh, NVIDIA graphics driver and GeForce Experience, or just the graphics driver. For mining, go with graphics drivers. Okay, you don't need this. Agree. Okay, express installation. Okay, so the graphic driver is installing right now, and we are ready with our afterburner. Okay. okay, but since we are installing the graphics driver, it's better to leave our afterburner up. Oh, sorry. It's better to leave our afterburner down because we don't want it to interfere with graphics card at the moment. Okay, so you can see that our installation has started. I will speed this up so that you won't wait as long as I do. And we'll continue from the moment the driver is installed. Okay, so we have restarted our PC and we are ready to go and start mining our first cryptocurrency. For that, I will be using uh, Ethereum, which is maybe one of the popular choices today. So, to mine Ethereum, we should go to nanopool.org uh, from the list we could select Ethereum or Ethereum Play 6 it's basically the same algorithm I will go with Ethereum oh, sorry. overview here we'll need to go to help ok so we are at the help bar select the miner uh, there is basically few options nano miner which is uh, nano pulse miner and claim more which is one of the most popular miners for Ethereum today. So I will go with Claymore since I've been using it for past few years. Okay, so to download it, we need to go to Bitcoin Talk. Okay, so we're in Bitcoin Talk. Uh, here you can see the downloading to Mega File Exchange. Let's go to Mega File Exchange. And we should select a Windows file because there is Linux and Windows file in the same folder. So the difference is that the, the Windows one is with zip compressed and the Linux will be gzip. Okay, so let's go and download our miner. Okay. Okay, so we have downloaded the miner, you can see it here. Okay, let's open it, put it to the desktop. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here is our miner. Let me close this one. Uh, basically, what you need to edit when you are setting up your miner. The main thing is a bad file. You need to edit it. It contains all the information, your pool, your address, and your worker ID. So, uh, since we are working with Nana Pool, let's return to Nana Pool. Copy this line with all settings, if you want to. Or, in my case, I'll just copy the 
pool server. Okay, pool server will go here. Uh, so that you read a little bit better, ePool is your pool, eWall is your wallet, and ePassword is your password for your worker if you have some. Okay, so we have inserted the Nana Pool address. Apart from this, uh, Nana Pool also allows you, you can see here, add your address wallet and your worker name and your email if you want to use your email as a password. So we will delete the password part and we will go like this. Dot the name of our machine is okay backslash our email test at test dot com just for testing. Okay, so we'd like to save it. Okay, this part is done. If you want to have an overall which basically means that if one server is unavailable and you would like to switch automatically to another, you will need to go to ePools and insert the options, here is followers, and insert this option. Oops. Okay, let's copy it. Paste. And basically what you want to do here is to replace the wallet address, worker and mail with yours. And you will be able to connect to different pools. For example, there is two European pools, uh, two US pools and one Asian pool. So, this is a good option. Is one, if one is down, you can connect to another. Okay, so let's see if our miner works. Let's check it again before we start. Okay, so we have basically connection to Nanopool and our credentials. Perfect. Okay, so let's close the browser scope with Opera and let's start mining Ethereum. You get viewers uh, upwards because you didn't specify the data in your uh, followers. You just need to put your address, email and worker ID so that it will work. So you can see, at the moment we are creating the DAC file, so we can mine Ethereum algorithm. And as soon as that will finish, we should see our power consumption and our mega hashes. So you can see that this GPU at the moment is mining at 15.69 mega hash per second, which is not much. This card can do better if we'll do a little tweaks and we are consuming 99 watts of electricity which is not bad but we can do better so basically if you want to start a simple mining comparison this is the way to go okay so in my next video i will show you how we can tweak the gpu how can we make our mining more efficient less power consumption uh, consumable and for now, this is the way to set up a basic ring and start some basic mining. For future updates, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, please use the other button, it works well as well. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Thanks guys for watching, have a great day, bye bye!